Hi, and welcome to the 3D Objects section. In this section, we will be learning about using 3D objects in Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint Pro and Clip Studio Paint EX both come with 3D objects in the materials library. These include poses, characters, objects, and even a classroom background. These 3D objects can be used in your projects. The way I use these 3D resources is mainly through using the poses and the generic dolls that look much like an art mannequin you can pick up in an art supply store. These 3D objects are great reference if you can't find a certain pose or don't have a live model to draw from. In this section, we're going to learn how to add the existing default 3D items onto a canvas from the materials library. Once we've done that, we will learn how to manipulate those objects, including moving and rotating them or posing a complicated object like a character. Then we will learn how to manipulate the camera in 3D space to further refine our scene. After that, we'll move on to adding preset poses to our characters and saving custom poses to the materials library for use over and over again. Then we will look at the character 3D models included with Clip Studio and learn how to customize them. In this first video, we will learn how to add a 3D In this first video, we will learn how to add a 3D object from the materials library. Adding an object from the Materials Library is the first step in working with 3D objects in this program. Let's get started. To start off with in this section, you'll need an open canvas, of course. Again, as with other sections, the size and DPI don't really matter because we're just going to use this canvas to learn about this subject, and then we can apply it to our other comics and illustrations. To start off, you'll need to open the Materials Library. The Materials Library may be open in your Clip Studio Paint interface already, but hidden. You may see a bar like this with arrows facing to the left, if you are using the default Clip Studio Paint interface. Click on the arrows to open the Materials Library, like this. If you can't find the Materials Library, go to Window, Material, and then Material 3D. This will navigate directly to the 3D category in the Materials Library. If you opened the Materials Library by clicking on the arrows in the interface, just open the 3D folder. Clicking on the 3D folder brings up every material file under this category. We can scroll down the list of previews or select a subcategory by clicking on the folder here. Let's select the character category and click on the Schoolgirl B02 character. When selected, the material will be highlighted. There are two ways to add this material onto our canvas. You can click on the icon at the bottom of the screen that looks like a clipboard. It's called the Paste Selected Material to Canvas icon. After clicking it, you'll see that our 3D character has been pasted onto our canvas. Depending on your computer's speed, it may take several minutes for the 3D object to paste into your canvas. You can also add the 3D object by clicking on the material to select it, then hold down the mouse button and drag to the canvas. The cursor icon will get a plus sign next to it. When this happens, release the mouse button, and the 3D material will be added to the canvas. Again, depending on your computer speed, this may take a few minutes. In this video, we have learned how to add 3D objects from the materials library to the canvas.